Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching PSD to WordPress Lesson 23 and in this video we're going to go through the archive.php template file. Wow. Alright then gang, so in the last lesson we created this single.php file and we styled that up to display blog posts, right? Now an archive page is one of these pages. If I click on this link right here, it's going to show me all the posts from that particular date time, okay? This is an archive page, and there's different types of archive pages. So if we just look back at this template hierarchy uh, picture, there's all these different types of archive pages. You can see they're all an archive page. So we've got author, cat uh, category, custom post, custom taxonomy, date archive, which I just showed you, and tag archive. Now, there are all the different types of archives, and they're gonna look for their own template files in your theme folder right here, they're gonna look for all these, right? And if we've got any of those, then each archive is gonna use the respective template file that it finds to render that page. However, in our theme, we don't have any of these, so no matter which archive page you land on, it's gonna fall back on this archive.php file to render that page, all right? And we don't need to create any of these because there's no real le uh, reason for me to display an author archive any differently than a category archive or a date archive any differently from a tag archive, right? So I don't need to create those. I'm just going to make up this archive.php uh, file that we already have. But if you wanted to display something differently, all you need to do is create one of these files and then pad out that PHP template as you would like to display it, all right? So like I said, we're just going to focus on this archive.php file in this tutorial and I've got it open right here on the left. Um, and basically, we're just getting the header again, then we've got the div of uh, content area, then main, then we've got this PHP to see if we've got any posts, then we're gonna output the header, which is just gonna be the archive title, so if this was November, then it'd output November, um, then an archive description, if we've input one in the WordPress admin area, it's gonna display that as well. Then down here it's starting the loop and it's going to loop through all the posts that it finds in that particular archive, for example in November. It's going to loop through them all and it's going to output them using this template part, the content. And this right here just gets the formats of the posts that it's displaying. So for example, if they're single posts, then it's going to get the single content. If you look in here, the template parts, you can see content single. All right, so that's what that's doing. Then it's going to put the posts navigation, which, like I say, is just the pagination, things like that. And then it's going to do an else. And if it doesn't find any posts, it's going to do this function right here to get the normal content.php file and output that. And then we're ending those tags and we've got our sidebar and our footer at the bottom. All right. So I want to display this page a little bit like the posts page where we've got the sidebar on the right and we've got the content on the left. So to do that, remember, is we needed to split this up into two divs, one that floats on the left and one on the right. But first of all, I just wanna put our wrapper in so that it's all contained within that central column. So I'm gonna copy this over from the right and I'm gonna pop it in right here, just like that, and then come to the bottom and close out my div. And there we go. So it's all within the wrapper and now what I need to do is use that div with an ID of post content around about here. In fact, I'll put it above this if statement. So div ID equals post content. And this is the div that we used in, oops, misspelled that. This is the div that we used in the last tutorial to contain all this stuff on the left side of the page. So we're gonna close that off around about just above that div there, that'll do. So we've got all that content on the left. Then what I wanna do is grab this sidebar and put it up here. And then I'm gonna contain that within another div tag. And that's gonna have an ID of sidebar. And that's gonna be floated on the right. And we already have all the styles for this because we made them up in the last tutorial. So now if I open this and have a look, I'll refresh. Now you can see we've got all the content there on the left and the sidebar on the right. So pretty good, yeah? And these down here, these are just the, um, the links that WordPress outputs for us so that we can edit the archive page if we wanted to. All right, cool. 
So that is the archive page in a nutshell. Pretty simple to do. I'm just going to click on a category archive now just to make sure. Yep, yeah, that's being loaded by the same template file. Uh, do we have any others? No, we don't have any others there, but you get the point. Okay, so that archive.php file is now controlling all of our archive pages and it's going to use that template file to output any data in any archive. So if you have any questions whatsoever, guys, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the very next tutorial where we're going to look at the 404 page and the search page. I'll see you guys then.